Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I wanted to share this script with you because I could have actually forgot I had written it. Uh, what it does is it calculates the distance between two latitude slash longitude locations. So you have one lat and long, and you want to compare it to the other one and get the distance. Now, the distance in the formula I'm going to show you, as well as some of the, the conversions, it takes into account the curvature of the Earth. Otherwise, a direct line, it'd be close, but you know, in long distances, it has a bigger effect. Short distances, you know, a couple of feet, it wouldn't matter, but across the country, it would. So let's go ahead and jump into the, the function here now. So I have a function here called distances, and it takes four parameters. So there's lat one, lon one, which could also be longitude, right? However you want to say it, and lat two and lon two. So it's going to take these four. Um, this is a static value. It's just a, getting this p. It's a, it's one degree in a radian, if you remember what that is, and this formula here, I'm not even going to, I honestly don't, I didn't study it, right? So, um, I'm not that I, I don't think I could have come up with it, but I just found it online and adapted it to auto hockey code. Actually, I think Maestrieth adapted it for me. Uh, we were working on it one day and we were trying to calculate distances between things uh, to get an idea of where things are. And we came up with this. And in reality, what we had done, I couldn't remember what the metric was. So it turns out this is kilometers. So I created an object here. This is just to store it so we can return more than one result. Here, we take this formula and dump it into kilometers. And then what I did was I said, hey, let's just look up, okay, how do you convert kilometers to meters? Okay, it's a, um, you need to multiply it by a thousand. So that'll give us the distance of meters. What about miles? I based them off, off of the kilometers because I've already calculated that. So I just looked up what the formula is for each of these things. Uh, and it returns the dist, which is this object. And that's going to store it here in distance. So let's... First, let's do a message box. You know what? I don't want. Let's just call it D. D. There we go. So D and then dot. And here we're going to say, let's do kilometers to start. All right. I'm just going to copy and paste because I'm lazy. So I'm going to launch this and run it. So that is 3,536.60 kilometers. Now, what if we want miles? Um, let's just change this to miles because that's an object, right? And this is how we access it. So that's 2,197.54 miles. Now, in another tool I have, I took these latitudes and longitudes. Let's grab this. I took this latitude and longitude. Um, and so this is basically LA to Orlando, I believe it was. And you can probably, if we looked at it, we would see these are the, the Latin longitude of each place. And look, this is 2,180. 2,197.5. Hey, you know what? That's, you know, that's good enough for me. So that's how you would use this, right? Now, if you had Maestria's function, uh, M function, uh, we can just look at it all. So I'm going to say M. The, the M, of course, is in my library. I'll put a link to this function. Uh, what I love about it is when I hit my hotkey, here it shows us every key value pair. So basically, you need to think about it's D to access this of B dot D dot feet, D dot kilometers, D dot meters, D dot miles, D dot yards. Uh, and so this is a great thing. If you happen to have two latitudes and longitudes that you're trying to compare, this is a, a great, easy way, fairly accurate that you should be able to calculate that distance. Cheers.